Rubber power. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you around my kitchen and I'm also going to bake some cookies with you. So if you're interested, then keep watching. So a few of you have asked me to show you around my kitchen, to show you my storage and what kind of things I have. I don't have any secret uh, about storage in my kitchen. I'm not the tidiest person in the world either. So really, um, I will show you how I'm storing my stuff and what kind of like unusual things I have in my cupboards. But really, it's quite simple. But I'm also going to bake some cookies, some healthy cookies, uh, made of cashew and coconuts. And um, so yeah, there's quite a lot for me to show you. So stick around. So I'm going to quickly show a few of our cupboards. Uh, here we have some glasses, some cups, all the teacups are here. There's nothing in here. And then here are the plates and bowls and things like that. Then here I store uh, really random things to be honest. So we have some tea here. I have some more tea. This is the Yorba Mate tea which I do really like. It's sort of like a type of a green tea. Then I have a few baking things here, like baking soda, vanilla extract, things like that. Then this is mostly jades. There are chocolate, there are cookies, biscuits, mini eggs because it was Easter, uh, chocolate orange. This is his, like. And then higher up here we have some porridge oats. We have um, high fiber flakes, so this is like a cereal that I might have in the morning. Same with this, I do really like this one. It's called Mesa Sunrise um, and it's the flakes are made of corn, flax, quinoa and amaranth. I just prefer them to like normal corn flakes. I have some buckwheat flakes, I make porridge out of that in the morning. And then I kind of have like a lot of um, superfoods and supplements and things like that. For example, flax and chia seeds, then I have normal chia seeds. I have um, like a powder and this is just a blend of green powder so it's like spirulina, wheatgrass, hemp protein, things like that. Then we have some acai powder so I might make like a frozen bowl out of that in the morning. Um, and then there are some other powders as well. This one has all sorts of nice ingredients in it. Green coffee extract, acai bear raspberry, goji, rose hip flax seed. So it's just really nice to use this because out of one spoon of that you get all the benefits of what's in it. And then there are some popcorn on the very top and there is also a juicer, blender, they're all kind of stuck behind. So that's it for this cupboard. This one is definitely my favorite cupboard. And there is tea. This is all tea. There is green tea, Earl Grey, matcha. Uh, we love tea, like especially I, I love tea. So this is all tea and I don't drink coffee. So I need to have lots of different teas. For example, this one is sea buckthorn organic tea and I actually brought it from Russia and I will have it sometimes in the evening and I also have chamomile this one is from Estonia and this is just like florets of chamomile that I will have in the evening to you know unwind and relax so and then there's this cupboard which is very much overloaded but this is the cupboard that I use the most because there are all the spices all the nuts there's some oils here, I have some dates for snacking, some seaweed for snacking, uh, a massive jar of coconut oil, uh, coconut nectar, which I use sometimes instead of honey. Hello. We have some spices here, turmeric, oregano, uh, some more nuts, I have pistachios, I have pine nuts. Um, what else interesting is in here? Oh yes, this, for example, this is wheat berries, so they're cooked with berries and sometimes I will buy quinoa or lentils like that so it's much easier to make salads because it's already cooked because grains like that and they just take so long to cook. And I have some naughty things like the um, hazelnut spread but this is organic natural hazelnut spread so there's actually nothing else but the hazelnuts but it kind of tastes like Nutella. Um, I have some honey, more nuts, tahini for my salad dressings and things like that. Peanut butter, all sorts of things like that. And then the last cupboard is overloaded as well, as you might have guessed, or as you might see. 
but this is all the grains and all the like porridges and things like that and also there is that which is the yeast flakes and this is the um like a vegan food that has you know it has very cheesy taste to it um and then and they also have vitamin b12 in them and sometimes when i make kale crisps i will put some of that and it kind of gives them a bit of a cheesy taste um porridge oats um bulgur wheat quinoa toasted couscous brown rice flakes buckwheat more rice flakes because i love rice porridge in the morning I'm, i prefer it much more uh to oats then i have some apricot flour um coconut flakes sunflower seeds what else pasta we have pasta because we love pasta nothing wrong with a bit of pasta millet which i do love very much as well and some jars of mushy peas because Jay loves mushy peas with his fish and he also loves rice pudding and then I also thought I will show you what I have on my stove at the moment I have a lot a lot a lot of hot cross buns because it was Easter on the weekend so we are just drowning in hot cross buns that no one will probably eat because I don't actually eat bread and um, I might have one as a treat and then I have some garlic, some ginger root for my turmeric tea and for just tea in general. And then here I have some more oils. I have olive oil, I have sesame oil, I have some vinegars, salt, balsamic vinegar, uh, sea salt, like really chunky one for cooking, some tools in here. And then we have our fridge. Our fridge is not very big here, but it's just enough to be honest. I have a cake here which I have baked yesterday and this is a rhubarb cheesecake and you can actually find the recipe on my Instagram I have shared it with you already um, what else do I have here we have some milk like there's almond milk there's normal milk for Jay there's some wine for me and um, otherwise it's just there's a lot of vegetables at the bottom there are some fruits at the top there's yogurt uh, pomegranate seeds, um, mascarpone I can see because Jay likes to have that with his pancake. And then I have another cupboard here and I have more flowers and more things that I use for baking here as well. For example, spelt flour, I have beetroot powder, spinach powder, I have a big bag of almonds, I have um, psyllium husk which I add to my bread if I bake bread and also I add them to my smoothies it's very good for your um, metabolism as well and um, what else do we have we have more millet I have uh, chickpea flour I have rice flour I have buckwheat flour I have um, what is this this is Corn flour. I didn't even know I had corn flour. I have some cocoa nibs, I have some golden berries, pumpkin seeds, all sorts of things, but I do promise I do use them. Some coconut and milk as well, and some coconut flour there too. Because if you do follow me on Instagram, you know that I bake quite a lot and I try to use um you know alternative flowers to normal wheat flour and uh, like white flour because it's bleached it has no nutrients in it whatsoever and all of this actually does so you know i try to make an effort then i have my little boxes with my matcha set and um, this is my turmeric milk box it has turmeric root in it it has pepper it has cinnamon so when i make turmeric milk i just get this out then there is some cocoa pops for when jay's son comes around and he's the only one who eats that, but we always have it. Have some rice here. So there are some like tomatoes, things like that. Um, yeah, there's just food. There's just all sorts of weird foods in the house. And then in this cupboard, I have some supplements. I have my Amigas, more Amigas, um, metabolic support from Advanced Nutrition Program. Um, I have antioxidants, things like that. And then here there are trays. There's wine, there's champagne, but it's mostly the like the bottles that people give us for some kind of holiday or occasion and it never gets drunk because I 
buy a bottle of wine and it sometimes lasts me a month because that's how much of it I drink. And then here I have my fruit bowl. I have just bought some rhubarb because it's in season in UK. I have some um, passion fruits, oranges, a butternut squash, bananas, avocados. Then I have a like a little plate of tomatoes and I love these tomatoes. Um, because they're all so colourful and I don't know, things like that just make me really happy. But that is pretty much it. I mean, I could go more detail. And also I thought if you guys want, I could do a video about my favourite superfoods and things like that. So let me know in the comment section below if you would like a video like this. But now let's bake some cookies. So we are going to need some coconut flour. We are also going to need some shredded coconut. I have some coconut nips, but you can use chocolate as well. And then we also have some coconut oil. I'm gonna use coconut nectar, but you can use honey or agave. Cashew nuts and some vanilla extract as well. And I'm gonna need two eggs. So that's all the ingredients. I'm gonna put the cup of cashews and two cups of coconut into a blender and I'm gonna blitz it all up into sort of like a flour, crumbly flour, then put it all into the bowl and add to it two tablespoons of coconut flour. You can use any flour, but I do like the taste and the nuttiness that it has. I'm gonna add two eggs and also about three tablespoons of coconut nectar. You can add sugar as well if you prefer, but I like the um, the richness of the nectar. And the vanilla extract goes in. Half a cup of coconut oil that I have already melted and just mix everything together. And then add half a cup of chocolate chips or cocoa nibs, whatever you're using. You can also use raisins, they would be really nice. Then just form the mixture into little bowls. There will be about eight, but I got a little bit more actually. And then all you have to do is flatten them with your palm. If they're sticking a little bit like they are to my hand, then just use your fingers or you can also wet them or oil them. And that's the cookies done. They're going into the oven at 180 degrees for 15 minutes. So there they are after 15 minutes, nice and golden. Just transfer them to a rack so that they will cool a little bit. But to be honest, I'm not patient enough. I eat them while they're warm. So they're nice and golden at the bottom as well. And they are nice and chewy in the middle. So that's it. So the cookies are baked and I have already eaten a few of them actually. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more cooking videos on my channel, let me know in the comment section below. But otherwise, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye! Flowers. For me. To you.